Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling, it's just about the anxiety. Hello everyone, welcome back to Angling and Anxiety. Just had a lovely little tent while carp fishing, so I just thought I'd show you. Lovely little tent, absolutely beautiful. Uh, happy days. I won't bother wearing her, um, get back in the water ASAP. But yeah, there she is, lovely little tent. Happy days, hopefully, we can pull a carp out. I just thought I'd show you how much duckweed's coming in for the net with that tent. Um, pretty unbelievable, to be honest with you. I mean, look at it. Absolutely thick. It's a really interesting kind of weed. It's just, it just smothers everything. Um, but what I did find out for a bit of research is it actually puts photosynthesis into the water. So if they get their oxygen underneath it, I was under the impression. I actually read somewhere that it starves it. But that's obviously not the case. So, get out there people, get onto your duck weeded rivers and ponds and whatever you think are dead and have a go, that's my advice, um, to you. Welcome back everyone, that was a very uh, sudden start, so I say. Just got down the river, um, Nick's done a 24 here, had a lovely leather carp, absolutely over the moon we are. Um, a little bit gathered myself because... Let's have it right, chances of me catching another big and down in there are slim. Um, it's a small bit of river. I've had lots of people commenting on the social media posts saying, oh, be careful of the river. We well, you know what river it is. Well, I don't care if you know what river it is, I really don't. It's a big river. I'm here to well. I'm here because I've, ne I've looked, searched hard to see if we could find uh, any kind of video or information about fishing for carp, or any fish really, minus bass, under duckweed. Um, we was convinced they'd go elsewhere they don't so we're innovators as far as I'm concerned we've, we've gone out of our way to fish it do you know what I mean um, put the effort in spent the money on the bait to put in the river so at the end of the day we got the results and happy days do you know what I mean um, but we want other people to get results so now this is on YouTube other people can see how to fish and the fact that it does work and if you put a bit of effort in and you believe in yourself that you can do it do you know what I mean so happy days Oh, here goes my vapors. But yeah, I will keep this uh, section of the river secret uh, for obvious reasons. I'm not going to show you too much about the river. Nick's only got a little clip of himself with a carp. Um, oh, now that seemed a bit more promising. So anyway, enough of me talking about how I'm not catching fish. Should we show you the carp that's come out of here 24 hours ago? Here she is. River monster. That is what carp fishing is all about. In the river, boy. Welcome back. All right. What I want to do now is to basically show you how I fish everywhere. River, lake, doesn't matter. I fish this way. Um, I'll get very paranoid and anxious about my rigs when they're out unless I fish like this. So this gets rid of that paranoia, as it were. Um, Nick fishes the same. We fish slightly different what we put inside, but these are the key. I use the ESP ones because they've got the holes already in them, so you haven't got a piercing at the end. Um, sometimes the needle will get stuck on the thread of the rig, and then the I have to redo the whole rig then. So, with these ones, I ain't got to mess about doing that. You can use the quarter ones if you prefer, it's entirely up to you. Um, but yeah, basically, I fish when I'm on a river. river or anywhere that I'm allowed to fish, I fish a leader. So basically this is just a, a normal leader you can buy them for about four pound if you've got a bit of excess line. Pfft. 
So, just a little loop on the end. It's basically like a strong bit of plastic. Um, that's the only way I can describe it. Which you then slide your inline lead down. This one's a quarter, um, three gram, three ounce, sorry. And then that goes, what I do is I put my Ronnie rig on there. So I make them myself, easy as pie. I'll show you how to do them one day. Really, really easy. There's plenty of videos on the internet. You just literally got by the quarter bits and they all slip together. Um, but yeah, so that, that's how efficient. And then I tie it onto my main line. So what I do is get my bag. What I do first is put a hook bait on it. So, where are they? Nothing like a good bit of preparation, is there, Kevin? Oh, would you believe it? I can't find it. You have to bear with me a bit, people. Tell you what, I'll come back to you in a minute. <laughs> right, so, back in the room. Big bag, big bag. As always, sticky krill. These are the 16 mil wafters. I like the wafters because in my eyes, the bait will sit just slightly proud of what I put in the bag. Should be the first one I go for, in theory. So, onto my Ronnie rig. I've got bait screws on there. I don't like all that bait floss, far too fiddly for me. Um, with a screw. Sort of push it in halfway, screw it in the rest. Don't really, really need to screw it in the rest to be honest with you. Not coming off, but just to be safe, screw it in. Can't really see, but I'm not doing a lot. Just screwing on the body. So there you go. Onto my Ronnie. Onto the lid. So I will put this inside the bag, like so. So much easier when you ain't got to do it when it's dangling on the edge of a rod. You can see there. Put it into the corner. And then, good thing with his ESP things is, they're really long. I'll tell you what I haven't done actually. I haven't put. I haven't put PVO stem in it. One of these. These make life so much easier. So literally just slide it down. Sometimes you need a bait and needle, but to be honest with you, I go like pretty easy. With this particular leader anyway. But I'm pulling all kinds of faces. Right, so through. Slide that down, that just sits on top of the lid, just gives you something to clamp on with the uh, PVA at the end. So, put your bag, put your lead in there, make sure it's in the corner, make sure your rig's not going to get tangled up. Get a hook through the bag, I just like to hook it just a little bit so it's there, so you know it's not moving because it becomes a pain. And then what I've got here is some sticky krill boilies. I buy big bags, I go through so many of them. Um, the krill, 16 mil so they match the wafter. And then I've crumbled some up. Yeah. And what I do is... Put them wafters away. So, lids in the bag. That's so got my crushed boilie. I put one scoop of crushed boilie in there. I'm a bit messy, but you ain't got to tidy it up, so don't really matter. Oh, yeah, see? Clumsy. Yeah, I've got, I've cut the bag down because it becomes a pain when you get to the bottom of the bag, but it's basically sticky krill active mix. And that just pulls the bag out a bit. Shake. Add a bit more crushed boilie. There's a 
few hole boilers in here as well. I try not to put no pellet in there, I've got some sticky krill pellet there, um, I don't particularly want to catch broom. If I do, I do, fish is a fish as far as I'm concerned, some people are poncy around a fish, I like a fish, whatever it is. So, fill my bag up, give it a little bam bam bam. Some people like to tuck lead up, I don't because I think there's more chance of it getting tangled up inside of it, so grab it like that, squeeze it tight, give it a little twist, and then Back in the day, I used to lick it, get a horrible taste of my mouth. I say back in the day, I mean literally a couple of, uh, not long ago. A couple of weeks ago, probably. Now, what's he done with this PVO tape? Uh -huh. PVO tape, quick milk, quick milk. Don't think it matters what one you use, to be honest with you. Get a length of that off. And then wrap, 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 wrap. Wrap, 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 wrap it round. And then just simply, like you do your shoelaces, leave a load off so you've got, no, you ain't got to be fiddly. And then, so I'm not normal granny knot. Do another one just for extra luck, it ain't coming undone anyway. I'm literally under arm throwing it. But this would work with long wanks casting as well. Get rid of the slack. And then what I do is be, a little bit careful because sometimes you do get a bit of PVO residue. All of that slack around the top. Be careful of the leader. Just trim off the slack. Don't need any more PVO in there than necessary. Always happens. Bloody leader towels come off. What I do is. I'll take it off. I don't need it on there. Sort of defeats the object of what I was doing, but if you can see, the weight's just out there, so it's not going to be, it's just basically so that it gives you something to grab onto. I don't need to grab onto something because it's positioned perfect, so it is what it is. I'll chuck it out there. Um, it's exactly the idea one that I caught attention, so they do work. Um, but yeah, there's my bag. I don't need to pierce it. If you use quarter ones, don't put this in the videos, any other videos anyway. Always pierce a bag, or your bag will go to the water, go down, and then come straight back up, and all the bits will fall out, and then you just completely ruined what you were trying to do. So these have got bags, these have got holes in them, um, ESP ones. I do grab the scissors just for extra, give it a couple of holes. But you don't need them, um, just to be careful anyway. So then go and tie this into my main line. Jobs are good, and out she goes. Just a little chat, really. Um, I find that. The thing with carp fishing is, when I went shark fishing, I thought, why have I been wasting my time carp fishing? Um, and I get back, speak to Nick, I still remember why I love the river fishing. Um, I'm sort of done with lakes and stuff, and I'll tell you for why, it, it's become very clicky. Um, I know it's only day tickets as such, if you get on a good syndicate, you sort of avoid that, but nowadays everyone's so uptight with their information on carping and... Um, Everyone wants to be the man, rather than trying to help people out, which I think that's what fishing is about. People, when I use it to get away from my anxieties, but I can see why it gives some people anxieties, and like, it, it's an awkward situation, and eventually I want to get into a, a situation where, I think owning a lake's a bit far-fetched. I'm skinned, I ain't got no money, apart from what I go to work and I'm working on, and on average, you know what I mean, everyone goes to work, I live pretty t like nice, I earn quite good money at work, don't particularly enjoy it, I dig holes but I earn good money, So, um, but I, I've never been one to save, um, so actually earning, owning a lake is a bit far-fetched, but maybe one day just trying to get control of a lake or something at, at some point and just maybe once a month having a day where people who are anxious can just go fishing and actually have a go and a, go and a catch for carp, but some bigger carp and stuff because it's like a big competition and it's just it's not how it should be, do you know what I mean? Obviously it's got to be competitive, it's, it's got to be competitive, but it's just become clicky. And, it's, and like, I've seen some people down the lakes and stuff, and it's like, they're there for the camping trip, do you know what I mean? And, like, and then obviously, that's fair enough, I'll get all of that, but just the fact that if you're sitting on the lake and you've got swim, 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 and fish swim spent a thousand pounds on a bridge monkey bivvy, 
and then this swims in the middle's got a little t TFG total fishing gear bivvy, which are must have wicked wicked bivvies. Cannot fault them. But then you've got another ridge monkey one next to him. It's going to feel awkward. It shouldn't feel awkward. Do you know what I mean? But that's the thing with carp fishing. It's become that you you would feel awkward, and you shouldn't. And I want to make it a situation so that you can people. I've had I've had a few people message me. Not lots. A few people message me. Um, privately and just say thanks for the videos, you're really helping me, etc, etc, I won't go too much because it's personal, um, and at a fast boost of my confidence, made me realise why I'm doing it, uh, there's loads of us out there who feel like it, and to be honest with you, there's, there's people who are too scared to go to the lake, and they're too scared to be their self and go fishing, and if they've only got cheap cheap gear or whatever, mate, believe me, I've got good goodish gear, um, Sonic Vaders, I won't go into it about them, that's for another day. But I've got goodish gear, I've spent a lot of money now and I've got good bivvy and that stuff. Um, but I used to be a one man, one rod man, and that was how I'd, I was, and I used to enjoy doing it. But I always used to fill out a place when I used to go to certain places, carp fishing waters and stuff like that. And that's sort of why I fell out of love with carp fishing. But with a river carp, it's a total different game. Um, they're warriors, there's only a handful of them and you've got to really pinpoint them. But I just want to get to a point, if anyone's wondering why I'm even doing this, I want to get to a point where I can do charity days and things where anxious fishermen can come fishing um, and days where just basically I want to be living a time where you don't feel awkward to go to a carp lake. And like I said, maybe one day, and who knows, you never know what's around the corner, but just I might win a lottery. <laughs> just having a lake where people can go and they haven't got to feel so uptight. Do you want to come down here with your kingfisher rods you bought? Well, I've got fair play. Do you know what I mean? As long as your gear is proper and you're not going to cause any damage to any fish. Why shouldn't you be allowed to fish? I mean, of course you can fish, but let's have it right. It's clicky and it shouldn't be clicky and I want to put an end to it. So, let's hope so. But let's hope for a fish down here. But I just thought I'd chuck it out there. Something, sometimes things come into my head. So I'm very ADHD and I have a problem I haven't quite sorted out yet. And to be honest with you, my mum's a nurse and she goes on at me all the time telling me, so yeah, you go to the doctors, but I've tried going to the doctors like this previously. It's hard work, you don't, you know, never, it's never, a, I know they can't give you an instant remedy, but everything's so long-winded. And especially now with Corona, um, everything's even longer-winded. So it's just, I use fishing, I'm calm when I'm at fishing, I'm not buzzing around bivy when I'm at fishing, but if I'm in the house or if I'm at work or anywhere, other than fishing, I'm bouncing off the walls. And at some point, maybe do a vlog on it, I am gonna to go to the doctors, I'm gonna have another go. It's been a few years since I've been, I must admit. So I need to do, sort of give it another chance. Um, Cause to be honest with you, I know I'm not the full ticket. Do you know what I mean? I know I'm not. I don't, I, sometimes I think I don't know if anyone is, but I know for a fact I'm not. Um, and I do need to address it. Um, but it's just, uh, like I said, I find it hard. And I find it hard to trust the, trust the system. Because I just don't, I don't, I don't know. There's, there's a certain regime of how they, I've seen anyway, there's a certain regime of how they treat people. Do this, get cancelling, do this, do that. It's how they treat everyone. Everyone's different, do you know what I mean? And I know they do sort of cater to individual cases as such, but everyone's different and it's, it's they've got a structure of what they've got to use and obviously they've got to stick to that structure. But I don't think that structure works for me, but fishing does. And I know I can't spend my life fishing, but I wish I could, and I don't understand why I can't. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't understand why everyone in this world is just such money red, set, like money sent world, and everyone's out for the money, and no one cares about just to sit like no one. Everyone's out for themselves. I mean, we're, we're sort of coming onto the mental health thing a bit more nowadays. Like I haven't been ill since I was a kid. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, since I fractured my skull, I was seven. Um, I know I'm mentally ill, but I'm not crazy. I'm not dangerous. I'm nice. I'm a nice person. I know I'm a nice person. Um, I do everything I can to help people. Everything. I sometimes put myself in vulnerable predicaments because I'm too nice. You ask my missus. Um, she's always saying to me, like, I'm, I do silly things for people and I volunteer myself for stuff because I'm trying to help people out. And then I think, oh. the day I come and I think, what have I fucking done here? Damn, excuse my language. But yeah. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm not going to waffle on. Let's hope for a fish, and uh, one day hopefully anxiety can be some sort of anxiety.
angling can be some sort of therapy. And people look back on me, and the kids look back at me and think, you know, I want the old man trying stuff. But again, far fetched. You can only try, can't you? And I'm doing my bit for the world, so it is what it is. Keep it at it, that's what I say. Oh yeah, Princess Chicken Curry, hot, good bit. Morning everyone, um, no luck through the night, a bit annoying, it is what it is. Um, I haven't recast the rods, I've left them exactly how they are. I'm comfortable and confident in where, where they are and what they're looking like, so I'm um, just going to leave them. Not long while I can half eight, lovely lion today. Um, oh. Excuse me. Um, I've just seen a little bit of swirling in front of my right rod, which is where I had the tinge on yesterday. So, fingers crossed, we've got another two and a half hours here. We can bag one, but I ain't feeling too confident. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> My reflection, thinking about what you mentioned. It was supposed to be the one to take every last pain away. Nothing on our loving, maybe time told us that we were different. Did it break you down? Fingers crossed we get a river path again soon. Let's keep at it. See you soon, people.